Hey everyone! Before I start the installation process and we talk about different type of installations and so on, let's have an overview about the core components of the RDS that is built from. This is very important so you can understand the installation process and everything else. Mainly, RDS is built from four components or roles. The remote desktop session host, which is obviously responsible for hosting remote sessions and applications. We have the remote desktop connection broker that simply brokers the remote desktop connections. Also, we have the remote desktop web access that provides a web interface or a web page that makes it easy to access remote desktop resources. And at last, we have the remote desktop licensing server which is obviously responsible for the licensing stuff. To understand the concept more, let's take an example scenario. We have two remote desktop session hosts hosting our sessions in what we call an RDS farm. Simply, an RDS farm is where we configure multiple servers to work together so we can provide maybe low balancing or fault tolerance and so on. And we have a connection broker that acts as a middleman between the client machine and the RDS farm. So now the client is going to connect to the connection broker first. And the broker is going to refer the client to one of the session hosts in the farm, according to your configuration. So the user will be able to access a certain resource in the servers. Now what about remote desktop web access. As I told you, simply, the client will connect the web server server through the internet browser and the server will show all available apps and sessions that he can access that corresponds to your configuration and permissions. The web page looks like somehow like this. You can see a list of applications and sessions that the user can access. And at last, we have the licensing server, which is as I told you, it's responsible for managing licensing all over your network, all over your remote desktop servers or session hosts. So that's it. I hope the idea is somehow clear. So let's go back to our work. When we go through the RDS installation, then we can select between three types of installations, the quick start, the standard, and the multi-point. Now don't worry about the multi-point server or multi-point installation. Just concentrate about quick start and the standard. If you choose the quick start method, the setup will deploy all the required services on one server. So you're gonna have remote desktop session host, remote desktop connection broker, and the remote desktop web access all in one server. So the installation will almost do everything to start quickly and allows you to start working with the RDS environment. Now let's see how to run the installation, the quick start installation on our server. Here I am in my Windows Server 2016 machine. Here I am using a virtual machine under workstation, under VMware workstation. You can do the same for you if you are using a simple lab or you can use a dedicated server if you want, it's up to you. Now to begin, just click on manage, add roles and features. And now let's click on next and you will be prompted to choose between role-based or feature-based installation and remote desktop services installations. Since we are working with remote desktop here, just click on remote desktop services and click on next. And here you can see the three types of deployments, the standard, the quick start, and the multi-point services. As I told you, don't worry about the multi-point now. It's a new technology in Windows Server 2016 that replaced the multi-point server before that can create multiple sessions for user and allows you to connect through the USB hubs or zero clients or maybe the network. Now let's continue our core work and click on quick start to go to the installation and click on next. All right. Here we can select between virtual machine based desktop deployment and session based desktop deployment. Since this course focuses on remote desktop sessions and applications and we are not concerned about virtual desktops, it's related to Hyper-V and desktop virtualization, it's a dedicated topic that I may create a separate course on it. 
So now select session based to continue our work and click on next. And here you can see the server name where this installation will be running. Just click on next. So now as you can notice, the following role services will be installed on this server, my client machine. We have the RD connection broker, the web access and the session host. And it shows a message telling you that this server will be restarted after the installation and some users and the groups will be added to your security groups on your computer. Just click on restart here and click deploy. And as you can see now, we have role servers is installed, is being installed. We have the session collections and the remote app programs. As I told you, don't worry about anything unclear now. We will cover everything in details later. So now just let the installation go, wait a little bit and everything will be fine. All right, as you can see, after the reboot, my installation is succeeded and everything is fine. Now let's close the setup. And you can see here we have the remote desktop services role is installed. Let's open it. And you can see the deployment overview. If you navigate here also to the collections, you can see the quick start or the quick session collection is created automatically. We have the remote application programs also are published here, some tools, calculator, paint and wordpad. And we have the remote session host servers. Also we have this server that I'm working on. So as you can see the quick start installation will prepare everything you need to start working with remote desktop sessions. So that's it. I hope everything is fine. Please, if you have any question, you have any suggestion, I am here to help you. I am here to be with you. Thank you for following and see you in the next lectures.